Okay, got some concealer. Look at the brush like an idiot. And then look for your flaws. Conceal them. Find like the marks and I'm getting under my eyes because I look like a raccoon. So conceal that as much as possible. And keep going. Keep going, don't stop. So, these are different spots on your faces that you don't like, and I guess it's self-explanatory, just try to cover it up. Now, on that eye, I put way too much concealer, obviously, but just rub it in as much as possible, and whatever flaws I guess you want to hide, just do that. My eyes are naturally really really dark under my lids so it looks really bad um and i kind of have bumps on my face i also have like this dark thing on my nose i don't know why it's there but rub it in try not to look as stupid as i do and just keep going contour your eyebrows and um just sort of even out your face and I have uneven skin, and so, yeah, just don't pay attention to that. Um, so then get something else, which is, I think I'm about to pull up my, is it my Neutrogena or CoverGirl? Um, yeah, L'Oreal, way off. True Match Powder, and I really like that stuff, so you use it, and do that, and just put it everywhere, freaking everywhere, just hide everything, like I have to do, go over the concealer and put the powder on, this is powdered foundation, obviously, and just keep going, powder for your life. You know, bad skin, this is what you have to do. And my forehead, like I have this ugly dark line across it, so I have to, you know, do that magic. Anyway, keep going. And just pretty much get everything even and powder up. Okie dokie, so then you get this stuff, right? This is Revlon Photo Ready Compact Makeup. It doesn't do shit for my skin, but I use it anyway. Cause I hope that somehow there's like a camera flaw that picks up my ugliness and it's concealed. So yeah, you use that because whatever, I paid a lot of money for it. And you go over your face. It's supposed to help with, I guess, photography. That's what it says anyway, but who cares? So, you go over your face with that, just a little bit amount of that, because that's actually w way lighter than my skin tone. But hey, I said I wanted to get lucky. Then you put that down somewhere and you look for something else. Okay, so you get the eyelash curler and do this tortured looking thing. And curl your eyelashes and do that until you know I guess it curls whenever that is and don't pinch your lids because that really hurts trust me all right then do the other one pretty easy right and um, press wait without an attitude and let go um I think it worked whatever so what I'm gonna pull out next is this powdered mineral Revlon thing and it's this cool applicator tip at the top and you just slide it down pop it out and then they have like these little things at the ends and you just slide it up and it's so cute right looks like a little kabuki brush 
So then you open your powder and be careful because there's like a lot. So you open it. I don't know why I'm sliding that. And then you dip a little bit, but I accidentally put too much. So you just, yeah, do that. And um, you really don't need that much. And I put some on my lid and swirl it around and then add the magic. Just do it and put it everywhere. I don't know how much foundation I need, but I'm going to do it until I think it looks right. So do what works for you because there's not like a set thing I do. So I swirl it around on the lid and add more everywhere. Don't be shy. Just do it. And I'm running out of powder on my lid. So I'm going to have to add more. But just add it until you're satisfied. And so your skin looks even and pretty. So yeah, I need more. So add more. Dip it, whatever. Do that. And do it again. Freely. Just add... time for the best part do not use h2o liquid eyeliner it does not come off well you can get it to come off but it's like hard work i have elf liquid eyeliner and i have like that felt tip, felt tip sorry thing anyway i use the darkest color dip it in wait i gotta get my mirror it's cute i got it from claire's it's so cute it's like this diamond what is it like a cheetah spot thing it's so cute. Be jealous. So anyway, I get that because I really had to use a mirror close up for the precision. And I use that. And it's kind of hard to explain how I do it. I'm so used to doing my eyelids. But get the inside of the corners and just swipe carefully. And I do it really fast because I'm just so used to doing this. Um, and I make... A really bold line and then I do this long Cleopatra Egyptian angel wing whatever the hell you call it and do it carefully and that's it right so I go over it just to make sure that it's really dark because I like my lids really dark unnaturally dark and obviously I'm really good at it so I'm not like spending an hour on one eye and then go to the other side and do it again and do it carefully um, and do that line and I made this one accidentally longer than the last one but that happens because I'm not left handed um, but it's okay we can fill that in later it's alright and just make the line as bold as possible and as bold as you can do it and then just look carefully at what you're doing because I do poke myself a lot. So I have to let my eyelids dry because if I look up, it gets there we go, stuck in the crease. And I can't really get it off. But it's okay because I'll fill it in anyway. So you let that kind of dry and then... Um, look carefully, even though, you know, I can't get it off, but just make sure that it's not wet and get some eyeliner. Now, I'm going to use this blue eyeliner just to sort of add effect. It's the Master Drama Eye Studio, and it's like this bluish sort of thing. I think it's from L'Oreal, and apply it under your lids carefully. Like literally at the lash line. And this color is blue. I kind of like the blue color. So, um, you can get more to it. Um, it's okay when it goes like that. Just go um, in. Go over it and fill it. It's really dark. I like it really blue and really dark. So, you know, just do what you gotta do. And do the other side. Not a lot of magic to what I do. I just do copious amount of makeup on my eyes because I don't know. I just 
just to it. And so that was done. I'm gonna go over that blue with a black. Don't ask me why. But it has to be as dark as possible. The blue adds like a nice prismatic color. I have like a million eyeliners. I don't think you could ever have too many. Anyway, I'm gonna use this one. It has like this thing on the bottom where you can smudge it in. It's CoverGirl. And I don't use that smudger, but I do use the black eyeliner. Go over it. Up. Okay, so I kind of learned this trick from someone. You get eyeliner and you sort of make like a, whatever the hell that is. You sort of make a line from where the top of the wing starts and fill it in. It's kind of looking bad because I usually don't do it like that. But you just go at the top of that and you fill it in um, because it's going to give... I guess I'm trying to do like a smoky eye and so I have that Maybelline black stuff right it's called eyeshadow can't forget and I use a lot and I have like a really dark end and then I don't fill in my whole eye I just start at the darkest part and I blend it in so that it looks smoky, like it kind of fades. I don't think I explained that right, but you get the point. And just like blend it in. It kind of looks bad now that I'm looking back at it because I use way too much eyeliner and it's kind of really dark. Unless like I'm doing something really important. I usually don't put this much makeup on, but I am showing how I do it. Anyway, so you see how it kind of fades and it's kind of smoky? Right? No? Okay. Well, then do the other side and get your eyeliner and grab that corner and make this line at the crease and darken it because you're going to do like from darkest to lightest type of thing. And... Just do the same thing on the other side with the powder. Ignore that pimple. And so you fade it in and don't get... I like the 